Sounds like nonsense. Nonsense. Sounds like nonsense. No, that sounds like nonsense. That sounds like nonsense. Sounds, sounds like, like nonsense. nonsense. You know what that sounds like? Sounds, sounds like, like nonsense. nonsense. That sounds like nonsense. Sounds like nonsense. Like nonsense. Sounds like Is this nonsense. what it's gonna sound sounds like? Sounds like nonsense. Sounds, sounds like nonsense. Sounds like nonsense. Sounds like nonsense. It's nonsense. nonsense. It's nonsense. And it sounds like this. What's up, buddy? Jason DeVore here from the band Authority Zero, and you're listening to Sounds Like Nonsense. Enjoy. Fuck yeah, Authority Zero, everybody. Awesome stuff. Yeah, what's up, everyone? I'm Jeb. I'm Will. How are you guys doing out there? Yo, this is the Mosh Up 5.1. 5.1. That's what I'm going to say because I recorded another Mosh Up, Mosh Up 5, for when we were gone in Catalina. Oh, know? right. And right. then I got hammered while doing it. Wow. And was too embarrassed to play it. Oh, God. <laughs> So really, we're calling this 5.1, and I know you know you guys are used to getting these things on Sundays or Mondays, and I think it's Thursday right now. I think so. Yeah, so um, it'll come out tomorrow on Friday, and then you're gonna get a brand new one. All of us will be together on Sunday. On, the, on Sunday, so uh, yep. Sorry, shit happens. So. Yep, shit happens. <laughs> yep. Me and me and Will just got back from Catalina. For those of you who are listening, where it sounds like nonsense podcast, and we like to fucking party. Yeah, I guess so. And boy, <laughs> did we because it was a lot of fun. A lot of alcohol was consumed. Hi, Mom. And it was uh, a long trip, I'll tell you that. 
Uh, in the fun time, though. You know what? Like, the day before, I was like, I need two more days. I even considered, like, I'm just going to call and see if it's available for another night. And then uh, when it was time to leave, I was ready to leave. Yeah, we're ready to I leave. I was like, okay. It felt like kind of the perfect amount of time. It was good. It was a good time. We got to see a lot of stuff around there. Every single day, we did something new. Yeah. Just kind of like by the seat of our pants for the most part. I thought I was really going at our spear fish and right. dive the whole time. Didn't wind up being the case. No, no. I got some some diving in and some snorkeling and stuff With in. your son, which is pretty amazing. Great. I bought a $500 GoPro, which... <laughs> sorry, Courtney. Hi, Courtney. <laughs> oh, God. But it's worth it. Uh, was it? I don't know. Mm. No, we got some good footage, a bunch of fish, and... Um, fuck, man. It's Catalina. I can't complain. Yeah. Well, it was gorgeous. I'm glad to be uh, back, though. Yeah. Yeah, totally. Um, and then, uh, so we just played a song, this is the mosh up for you guys that are not familiar with it. What we do is we're just going to play a few songs. We talk a little shit in between, uh, but it's basically like our favorite bands, what we're listening to right now. So yeah, there's some good music out here. We have quite the new year lined up already. Um, yeah. I might as well tease it right now. We've got Pooley coming on on Sunday. Wow. New Debt Cemetery song. Really? And Delay the End has this great cover out. Really? I promise you. Uh, I don't know who like that's by. An 80, 80s I promise song. you. I promise you. I don't know. It's fantastic. It's though. great. Yeah. So we get to premiere all those, and I mean that's just that's just next week, and then we have our year coming up. Oh, that's right. Our, well, what we're calling our year, we're past the year, but like our fifty second show. So what I think the idea is right now, we're gonna really have to hammer this out. We'll probably do that on the full show with Jeff and Courtney. Yeah. On Sunday, but we're thinking about just doing a live Zoom thing, so where everyone can just kind of join in. And we can all talk to everyone. What about a pizza party? I thought we were going to have a little pizza party. Like a pizza party style. You know, like, so we all are eating pizza. Like, everyone can join us and have pizza with us. And, you know, and we can talk shit and we can listen to a little music. Oh, I'm down. Something like that. It's kind of the loose idea, right? Sure. I mean, I remember my high school parties. (laughs) We're going to be fucking drinking. (laughs) Oh, okay. I guess you were drinking in high school, too. No, no, no. I wasn't. I was goody kush, too. Goody uh, goody kush, too. (laughs) (laughs) Goody, goody kush, too. Whatever you call that. Two shoes. Two shoes. Yeah, yeah, yeah I was yeah. a goody two shoes. <laughs> oh, fuck. Well, uh, so going back to Authority Zero real quick, we had Jason on just a little while ago, and I was fucking hammered. <laughs> really? <laughs> I know. Surprise, surprise. No, just that hangover that day it was killing me. Wow. But talking to him and talking to Nick from Direct Hit kind of brought me back up out of it. But Authority Zero, that song was called Ollie Ollie, 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 Ollie <laughs> Austin Free. It happened to me, too. <laughs> Uh, the album just came out. The back nine, it's fucking really good. If you guys are Authority Zero fans or that fan of that song, go check out that album. It holds up just as good as the rest, if not better. Yeah, yeah you know, yeah. it's in rotation for me right now. Um, yeah. So at the end of our vacation, towards the end, I started reading the Blacklist Royals book, Die Young with Me. Yeah, um, fantastic. Yeah. I wanted to finish it the, the day I got back. I sat at home. It, uh, you, we unpacked, we sprayed on all our dive gear and stuff sure. like good boys. And then I just sat there and I just fucking read it the west, rest of the way through. And it was good. So good. Die young with me. Go out there and get that. Um, Super sad, you said. Man, it almost got me. You guys almost fucking got me. But you didn't because I'm a man. Uh, and I don't cry. <laughs> oh, God. I don't cry. Maybe sometimes I go. <clears throat> yeah. Well. <laughs> like that. But uh, yeah, Courtney interviewed Nate and Rob. Yeah. Uh, without us. So. I read the book. I'm. I know you're going to read it now. Yeah, I'm good. Courtney's already started it, so I think everyone reads it, and then we have those guys back on because now I've got real questions. Yeah, you know, like uh, it was fantastic, and their band is really good too. And that is the Blacklist Royals. So, um, and I know that Will, you really like these guys. Oh yeah, they're great. So, um, I I don't know. It's hard to pick a song, and I can't remember what we played already. So. They do have a new single out. And I don't know if Courtney played it or not. I cannot right. remember because uh, I'm stupid. But they have a single out right now. You can find it Play everywhere. Play it again, Sam. Yeah, it's called Doomsday Girl, and it sounds like this.
doomsday girl Everybody's talking about the end of the world I got a day with my doomsday girl Everybody's talking about the end of the world I got a day with my doomsday girl Everybody's talking about the end of the world I got a day with my doomsday girl Everybody's talking about the end of the world Right, Blacklist Royals. Killer I'm, dig- I'm digging I'm, those guys. I know, absolutely. Like I said, I can't talk about that book, you know, enough. If you if you want to really know something about a band, he really lays it out in such a beautiful way. Um, he puts you right in the book. He, you said, yeah, he puts you in a room. Yeah, you know, like as you're, you know, we're the pretty much the same age, coming up in the same time, and like I had a band back then, and they're, you know, I don't want to give any spoilers, but like they're starting to get a little bit of success, like a little bit of momentum, and then get sick. Uh, you know, and then it's just kind of that whole story right there. Is this his debut writing? I think that he had done um, uh, like some uh, articles and things, but never a book, never oh, a full book. Wow. I mean, that's my understanding anyways. I could be wrong, but. Well, um, I'm looking forward to reading it. Yep. All right, cool. Well, you know what? I got something I want to say yeah. real quick. Music is a powerful thing, as, all, as we already know, but we're in a bar in Catalina, and it's a CD bar. Uh, it's for workers when they get off work. And this big grizzly old guy came in, you know, gray little mustache, kind of. I mean, salt and pepper. Got off work, extremely tired, had his beer, sat down and said, you know what? It's my Friday. I'm going to put on some music. He was he'd get a little drunk. And he puts on all this fucking punk music. Now, you would not think yeah. this man. You're thinking you're going to hear Toby Keith yeah, or yeah. fucking uh, Brooks and Dunn or even fucking uh, what, the 60s shit, Fortunate little, Son. Little Chris Stapleton. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and and now he puts in all this, and not just like punk, like, you know, like pop punk. It's no, all... Uh, no, he put on bangers. Bangers, one after another. And uh, I was looking around. I was like, who the fuck is playing this right now? If you saw it, nobody in that goddamn room, other than Jeb, maybe. Yeah. Looks like anybody would put that music on, let alone this guy. Busted, you know, he had like a hard hat, boots, like was just <laughs> not. And he told, he said, "That's my shit. I grew up with that." He was old, too, yeah. like older, older, like, probably sixties, I would say. Yeah, like, but he was into it. He's he like, was really into it. We started talking, and because I, I was like, "Who on? the fuck?" I want. I think I wound up saying, "Who did this?" Yeah, and you thought I was a chick. And then I said, no, it's this dude. Yeah, it was awesome. Yeah, yeah. and I just want to say, that's how amazing music is. That I'm not to judge a book by its cover. Never do that. And I did. It's just <laughs> I would not have thought this man coming in after a hard stage worth of work would be wanting, let's fucking rage and put on some music. Yeah, I, I was stoked. I, he really, I mean, he's into it. You did know that that did not look like a dude, right? No, I totally did not think yeah. that, that was going to be the I thought deal. that was absolutely awesome. In Catalina, yeah. working hard. Because also that bar, what I've been doing for the full week, I've got the Touch to app and the ami app yeah i prepay uh, you know for for credits so i don't have to walk up and do it so one of my little games i like to do oh, i don't yeah. even have to be in the bar yeah. i was doing this from the house when i knew you guys were down there drinking were just i just a, pop on slayer yeah a little fucking uh what's new pussycat yeah. uh, tiptoe through the tiptoe tulips. Through the tulips yeah what an asshole yeah but um, you know things like that anything and i would chase people out it's a game to chase people out and then also if someone else has it then it's on it's like war I understand that. You know, like, because they can skip your song, and they can keep skipping for, like, an extra quarter or whatever, and I definitely do that. Now, I'm going to do what you do, and I'm going to toot my own horn. Yeah. We were in a war with these people, yes. and I said, put on this stupid song, not stupid song, put on this song, Yeah. and I swear to God. That's it. This, I got the, one of the side of the people over here start what, sing, it, Who is it? Mary Hops, Hopkin. Those were the days back then. Da, 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 da. And all these people, one side started clapping and doing that. Ha! Ha! The other side of the bar started clapping. Yeah. <laughs> this did get everyone going. Everyone got, because it gets, yeah. We're not going to play it all, but it's pretty cool. I I was shocked. When you were shocked. Because I was like, okay, well, this is funny. We're going to push people out. Yeah. No, people were. You start hearing clapping. Oh, God. All right, I'm going to stop it, but you guys got to check that song out. Mary Hopkins, those were the days. Love that one right there. That was a fun time. 
it was re- you had the whole bar going and you got so excited when that happened oh, I was you screaming. were standing up and doing like that little I was doing my little, jig I was doing a dance <laughs> <laughs> Fat man dance. It oh, was crazy. Yeah. Oh, that was a good time. We had a dude, we had a lot of fun. Um it, Mike Taylor was with us. He's been on the show, works mm-hmm. at PAL, etc. Um, got his friends searched in their assholes for heroin one time. Yeah, you know, but you that, have to listen to that one later on. Yeah. <laughs> jumping trains with a snowmobile. Um, so he would kept texting me when I wasn't there and he'd be like, dude, play this song right now. And, it, it was totally working. I was winning. Yeah. I did lose once. Uh oh. I did. Uh, these this chick, she she had it down. She had it down the same way I do. Like oh. you wait until like the song is almost over, and then you fast pass your song. Because I did it, and then she jumped on top of me on another one. I was like, oh, we got a player here. We got a player. <laughs> and and she was trying so hard. I was over it anyway. I was gonna leave soon. I was like, all right, <laughs> fuck it. Yeah. You know, but um. I, it's a it's a fun thing to do. Yeah, it's a lot of fun to, to make people mad. Jim. Our yeah. country bar that we have here. Before I show up, I start playing the decline by No Effects, which is 18 minutes. When I leave my house, it takes me about 10 minutes to get there, and I get there in the middle of it. And you're like, you son of a bitch! Like, <laughs> oh my god! Just because no one else wants to hear that except for me, and I let them hear half of it before I get there. It's pretty nice. You're a good you're a good man, Jeb. As, good man. As a good friend of mine once said, I'm abusive. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we are going to do a couple shows here in the studio. Really? I'm looking think, forward to that. Just little things, private. Just a little kickback, as Riley would say. Uh, uh, that's, I mean, off, after June 15th. After and, June 15th. And I'm excited because you just said that to me about four minutes ago. Yeah. Uh, do you have any idea of who you want? And if so, I'm, what kind of bands? Like, are you, Is so, it going to be acoustic or is it going to be a full-blown? I think I'm going to do two bands and just like do early, like 7 to 10 or something. Yeah. We got a pizza oven here right next door. The oh, people that's right. next door to us, we're going to Solving Funk Zone. So um, that's the TM. <laughs> and yeah. then, uh, you know, just two bands, invite only, free all ages, throw some skate shit out there, let the kids skate. It's summertime. Oh, it's that's staying right. up, you know, the it doesn't get dark till like 9 o'clock or that's whatever. That's right. So, and it kind of cut it early. If it goes to 11, who gives a shit out here? Right, no right. one cares. So, um, but just do that. So I'm thinking the first show, it's going to be Will Ridge. Fuck you. Will Ridge, maybe some Benny Ranks. No. And then also, I'm thinking the late, great Charles Brokowski. That I'm in for. Yeah, so then then you have to play. I'm not playing, but okay, that yeah. I am in for. So, like, they, they do acoustic stuff or whatever, and we play their new song, Champagne. Um, and they've got, I've been listening to them They're a great. lot. Yeah. He's got a great voice. I love it. They got that cool vibe. <laughs> yeah. Uh, great ghost story. I've already said that, but it's still cool. Um, so let's play it. Let's, let's play hear, a song Let's, from let's do on. um Half Mile from Normal. This is one of my favorites off of this one.
all them damn staying up all night My body's trembling and shaking and covered in sweat But I ain't giving up just yet That was the late, great Charles Borkowski, half mile from normal. Bukowski. Bukowski. Whatever. How, who is this person? He's I don't know. A, he's a famous poet. And you th- know. This is who you talked to Trevor Keith about from Face to Face. When he yeah, came he's a famous poet. You know, uh, I don't know if you ever heard of the Barfly movie with Mickey Rourke. Oh. Uh, hmm. Ham on Rise, one of his famous books. Postal Service or something like that. Jesus, I'm so illiterate. Well, no, he's a good poet. I got to tell you, he's a good writer. <clears throat> it's Charles Bukowski, the, the late, great Charles Bukowski is the band. Charles Bukowski is a poet a, and writer. You know, I love the band. Don't yeah. know about the name. <laughs> uh, well, uh, if, they, they are adorable. <laughs> I think that's not, I think, I'm I mean, not putting them down by saying adorable. I mean, I like that. That is for really real, cute. dude. Yeah. Like, I would say just listen to their top five on Spotify, start there. And you're going to be hooked yeah. and then just go through, you go may, through the catalog. You know what I was thinking? You may not like their name, but I'll tell you right now. You know it would be a really good name for a band? What? The Crooked Switches. You don't think it is a band? No. Have the, you Googled it? No, but <laughs> <laughs> the Crooked <laughs> Switches. This. Okay. Should I write that down? Yeah, the Crooked Switches. All don't right. you think that's pretty good? Why is it going to be a Crooked Switch? <laughs> Why? Did you have to pick switches when you were little? No. No, no. I wasn't talking about that. I was talking about the Crooked Light Switches. Oh, oh! you're trying to bust on me and what's yes. going on in my life right See, now. See, there you go. <laughs> okay. I need to do a little abuse on you. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that was fun. There's a neat little change up. I know, because you were writing it down, going, the crooked switches. Yeah. You thought, yep. wow, we're a good team. You're really nailing it right now. <laughs> <laughs> you can edit all this out. When I was little, uh, my grandpa would be like, uh, you know, I got whooped all the time. And he's like, go pick your switch. Mm. Oof, just crying the whole time. <laughs> you don't know whether, band name, too. You good. don't know whether the... Get a thick one mm-hmm. or a thin one because the thin one's going to whip you, right. you know, and the thick one is just heavy. So you're trying to find that perfect medium, which is actually the one that hurts the most. Oh, uh, that's just terrifying knowing that you're going to be hit. Dude. Your sweat or a spank. You, you got to pick your own switch. Yeah, that's. Can you imagine? I, it was the mental torture of it way more than it was the oh, actual God. ass whooping. Yeah, that's but, no good. Uh, yeah, anyway. <laughs> uh, so. We're almost there, man. The 15th, maybe by, I don't know what date we are. No, not by the time this comes out, but like right after this comes out, we're going to be able to have shows like we were talking about. Yeah. But we're actually going to be in, around people. Florida already said, fuck it, let's do it. Yeah, um, yeah. And the shows that have been going there, the videos, fuck it, they're so good, man. Really? It's rad. I really think we're going to hit roaring 20s everywhere. <laughs> if you've been listening to this show, you know there's so much fucking new music out there and people are just so pent up and so ready to go do anything. The shows that have been happening, like the ones down in L.A., yeah. where they're getting like fucking sprayed and everything, doesn't even phase them. They're like, yeah. fuck it. Like, right, it's right. so rad, dude. Well, we're all trying <laughs> to get out, and uh, it's been a really fucking weird year, you know? Yeah. And so, so Florida, though, going for it. And there's a Florida band that we played on here uh, with their song, Punch a Nazi in the Face. Yeah, right. Love it. The Longest Haul. The, these guys are fucking so rad. I have not stopped listening to these guys. It's hard to even pick a song, right, but uh, right. I, fi- I figure it's time to do one. We're going to pick it up a little bit. We slowed it down. So let's do Longest Hall. Longest Hall. <laughs> <laughs> the quarantine is that, that... Is that how your, hon- your horn sounds? Ha, <laughs> ha. <laughs> All right. This song is called The Quarantine at Rancho Cucaracha. <laughs> Yeah. 
Dude, that scream at the end was, that was sick. good. Yeah, that was good. Yep, uh, the longest haul, you guys. Florida. Wow. <laughs> Florida's got a great music scene right now. Really? Yeah, there's a Better lot of stuff. Better than Santa Barbara. I bet. <laughs> and Santa Barbara was holding it down for a minute. Well, I mean, we lost a couple venues, you know. Oh, d- definitely. So I mean, now there's a couple new venues. There's a. Uh, I wonder if it's okay to promote this. I would say so. There's a new place. Let me see if I can find that note real quick. Out in Galita. Um, it's a, like a coffee shop thing, but it's got like a whole big area in the back um, to it, where you can. Is it the old living room? No, it's not. Let me let me just pull it up real quick. I've got it right here. It is called Old Town Coffee. It's 5877 Hollister Avenue. Huh. Um, and on the back patio, they're going to be able to have all age shows. All age shows. All age shows. Oh, wow. And um, the first one that I know of anyways is our homies from Last Point. That's how I know of it. It's oh. Saturday, June 26th, last point, uh, carry the nine in time, doors at seven, which wow. I fucking love, dude. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Really fucking shows. So, like, you know, this, having an all-age venue is huge. Yeah, you know, if I wasn't able to see shows uh, when I was younger, I definitely probably wouldn't have been a musician. You know? Absolutely, yeah. You, you know, it, it's weird. There's been a big... L- l- there's a big age difference in punks right now, I'd say, like from older to like really young because, mm-hmm. you know, we had to wait until we had children or whatever to get right, into right. it. Like the all age shows, they, they got lost somewhere. That's a shame. It, it really is. So, um, I don't know, man. Like, do you s- remember the Emerald? Oh God. Well, I know the living room and then the Emerald underground or something like that. I don't know. Or the underground. See, I'm not from here. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's right. Yeah, so you're, I don't know. We, we had trash. like the women's club. We had the old schoolhouse. We right. had the Heritage Center. Fucking the Vets Hall. We would rent those things out in Vero Beach, Florida. Back in the, way back in the day. But we, we had killer bands come through there too. Like that's where I'm, you know, we're the same age as like Hot Water and stuff. So we played with those right, guys. And right. Shyster, <clears throat> Shyster, I should say right now, has a new band. I guarantee Courtney's going to talk all about it. She watched their whole fucking live stream yesterday. She was in the kitchen doing dishes. And she's yelling because she's got her AirPods. And she's like, fuck yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. And stuff like that. And I was like, what are you doing? Uh, she's like, Shyster's got a new band. Oh, wow. oh, my God. Fuck, I'm calling them right now. Like, wow. <laughs> I don't know how she was going to call them right now. But uh, hopefully, I don't, I, and I don't know anything about it. I can't, I can't even tell you the name right, of it. But, right. uh, you know, back in the day, we had all these bands. Uh, Less Than Jake 
was one of the first shows that we saw on gutter mouth and gutter mouth right you know they all came through there um so well let's have the you know let's start a new life new trend on june 15th let's get live music if we can and yeah promote you know that, music. like i said do a couple little things here have some pizzas have some skate ramps yeah free Sure. Just have bands come and like we'll put the old tip bucket out, old school style. I'm down. Give the touring band some dough and you know try to find places for them to sleep. Uh, <laughs> well, I can't believe you're still doing it in our forties. Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, it's in your blood, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, I don't do that shit anymore. Oh no. 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 I need a a bed, a nice little cup the, of cocoa. Me too. And, and an iPad and go to sleep. Yeah, I'm not going to sleep on nobody's floor anymore. No, those... I've done that, dude. Used my boot as a fucking pillow a million times. <laughs> oh. Oh, it's freezing. Turn your jacket around and act like it's a blanket. Oh, <laughs> Shit God. like that? No. Not anymore. Those were the, the days, days, my friend. <laughs> hey! <laughs> hey! <laughs> All right, let's get the fuck out of here. Uh, we'll see everybody Sunday, which will be nice to have the whole group together. It's been weeks. Yes, it has been a while, so uh, we're looking forward. I'm looking forward to it this Sunday. Yeah, for sure. And then um, just since we've been on the Florida topic, Teenage Ball of Rocket, Ray Rocket came on. Yeah. I don't know how many, 10 shows ago or something like that. Right. Um, they were in the news on CNN this week. Really? Yeah, because they're doing a little Florida run. I think only like maybe four shows. Right. One of the promoters is charging $1,000 for a ticket to get in. What? But if you have two vaccinations, he gives you a coupon and it's 18 bucks to get in. Oh, <laughs> that's rad. I thought that was so funny. People are losing their minds and whatever about it, but I thought it was really clever. Thousand bucks. Thousand bucks. We'll treat you like anyone else. Yeah. But you get a discount of whatever. Right. So it's 18 bucks if you have your vaccination. Wow. Yeah. That's, that's pretty cool. Fucking funny, dude. All right. Well, let's get out of here. This is one of my favorite songs by these guys. It's called Headbanger. And I don't think, Will, you probably never even heard this song. No, before. I haven't. All right. Well, let's get it done. You see you next week. Deuces. Hey, what's up? This is Ray from Teenage Bottle Rocket, and this is Sounds Like Nonsense. <laughs>